Okay, it's 4th of July. We have some very happily fed horses with endless amounts of silver spray because this horse literally is <laughs> accident prone. I tried the duct tape on him. It stays a little bit, but not, I'm gonna have to figure out his hair must be extra slippery, of course. Belle is loving her food. Oh my gosh. Mm, kisses. Oh, hi Belle. You can stay over there and eat. Must get itch. So she's nice and messy. The good thing is, Tess likes to come in and lick it all up. Just interesting. So accident prone horse, put eye ointment in, cleaned all his boo-boos, put silver spray, tried the duct tape. This horse is Luckily, he's so sweet. And we got the donkey, who doesn't, if you put a fly mask on him, he takes it off. He's pretty self uh, manageable, which is great. We got one Tess with her little back tape. We'll see. Hi, baby. Hello. Then we got poor Twix over here, who had all those cactuses on him yesterday. Oh, look at that mess. And now, if you look at his left leg, it's like the size of a tree trunk. So we're gonna be cold hosing, giving some anti-inflammatories, getting him to move to see if we can flush those toxins from the cactuses down his way, for Kai. We gotta get him moving, see how he does. But this, uh, environment is very different than we're used to obviously so he got some good cactuses yesterday i pulled him out might need to read up on that to make sure i did it right i read up on that today and see how it goes tess thinks she's going to come in and get his food look at her being all strategic she's like hey hey handsome buddy oh he said no thank you oh here comes my son Hey, I thought you went back to the house. Did you miss me? Yeah. Are you going to get his way? Oh, he ate it. What do you think? Which... With my mask. Look at Merlin got his mask on and he got all of his ouchies covered up. Uh, which Gigas? Garrett has no ouchies, no sores, no fly masks. No, nothing. Oh, gentle. We uh, maybe just need to have a bunch of donkeys because they seem much less challenging to maintain. So this is the before 4th of July. I think I'm gonna have to bring some music down here because you can actually see from what I've been told, fireworks from every direction around here. So last night, she's eating it last night. On the 3rd of July, I saw a bunch up in the air. So we're gonna try to see, I know there's pretty much like the public fireworks all around. So hoping with these views, we can just watch here and relax and barbecue and swim and put some music on for the horses. Let everyone kind of hopefully chill out. It's a very different experience in Washington where People were like living on top of each other. We had neighbors right next to us shooting fireworks into our very dry barn with hay storage and a bunch of idiots that just don't care or know better maybe. But here we are. It's a very different experience. I think we're gonna be much, 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 much happier this 4th of July. Usually before we'd have to leave because Matt would run and go around and like, kill everyone <laughs> just kidding but he was very unhappy with the neighbors one year they were like putting him over to the our neighbor's yard she's in her like 80s into her dry trees and they didn't even care so I went over there I was like I want to say like eight months pregnant and like started screaming at them and they're like oh whoa pregnant lady watch out so I'm hoping this year will be 
What? Bus. I was being upset because our animals are getting tortured and our farms are being burned oh. down. So fingers crossed that it's just the public ones and then the little yeah. neighborhoods, but we're so far up here on the top. We are actually the original house. So we are actually the original house of this whole space. Which is kind of cool, of the Rocky K area. Okay, we ready to go back in? What? You ready to go back up to the house? Yeah. Did you just come down to check on me? Yeah. You're so nice. She is such a good girl. I'm also learning. See my coffee cup and my water cup? I'm learning that's pretty much the ratio that we have to have here in the desert. My cup's right here. I'm gonna drink it. Me? Me. You can have some water if you want. I filled it up, yep. We added a water machine down here. We found a place here that does all pH, high pH water that you can just take your things to refill. So it's so much easier. And then you put it in the water cooler. Look at Tess. She couldn't get around the back, so she's trying here. Good luck, Tess. Hey, horse people. We have been having problems here, as you can imagine, with, because um, we can't keep shavings here because um, they, uh, look at these bed Let him out! Oh, jeez, get him out! Well, he's where I need him. No, we can't have it. Uh, can you put him back? Put him back, please. Put him back. What? Put him back. Look in me. There. Go. Look it. Okay. So we've been having these problems. Hold on one second. We've been having problems with the sores in the back of their legs. So we are going to try. Oh, thank you for closing your own gate, Merlin. You know the deal. So Merlin just put himself away and closed his gate. He's like, look, kid, close my gate. So we're going to try. I saw on the Arizona Horse Forum that you put a piece of duct tape on each bed sore and then until you clean it first duct tape and then when it falls off you just put another one and it seems to solve it so we'll see what i'll let you know